Okay, as you can see the message, conversion completed successfully. Hi guys, welcome to SA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to convert an MBR disk to GPT using command prompt in an installed Windows environment. People often want to convert a master boot record disk to a GUID partition table for several reasons. One of the most common reason is compatibility with modern operating system. GPT is the newer partitioning scheme and is widely supported by modern operating system including Windows, Mac OS and Linux. If you have a system that require or benefit from GPT support such as if you want to take advantage of UEFI instead of older BIOS then converting to GPT is necessary and this process is necessary if you want to take advantage of the benefits that the GPT partitioning scheme offers such as larger disk support, advanced feature and flexibility, enhanced data integrity and dynamic disk support. However, it's important to note that converting from MVR to GPT involves modifying the disk partitioning scheme which can lead to data loss if not done correctly. Therefore, it is recommended to back up your data before attempting the conversion and to follow a proper guidelines and safe transition. However, let's take a closer look how you can successfully convert a MBR disk to a GPT disk without losing data. At first, let me show you the BIOS mode status of this installed Windows 11. As you can see, the BIOS mode status shows legacy and secure boot status unsupported. Now, let me show you the partition style status from Windows Disk Management Utility. As you can see, the partition style shows MBR. Note, make sure there are no logical partitions on your MBR disk because GPT partition style does not support any logical partition. And make sure your disk has only 3 partition. And you should have a Windows installation media because if anything goes wrong during or after converting the BIOS mode then it will help to recover the system. If you don't have a Windows installation media then here's a certain tutorial for you. And ensure that your system meets the requirement for GPT. GPT requires a unified extensible firmware interface system rather than a legacy basic input output system. Make sure your computer supports UEFI. You can go to your PC's BIOS to check your computer supports UEFI or not. As you can see, my system does support legacy and UEFI both. Once you confirm that your computer supports UEFI, then you can continue. At first, press and hold down the shift key on the keyboard and click on restart button to go to Windows Advanced Recovery Environment. Click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced option. After that, click on Command Prompt. Type the command mbr to gpt space forward slash validate and press enter. Next type mbr to gpt space forward slash validate space forward slash allow full os and press enter. The forward slash validate option instructs MBR to GPT to analyze the disk and provide a report on whether it meets the requirement for conversion. The allow forward slash full OS option follows the conversion even if the disk contains multiple partitions or volumes. Running this command helps to ensure that the conversion will proceed successfully before actually performing it. It allows you to identify any potential issues or error that may prevent a smooth conversion from MBR to GPT. Ok, now as you can see the message, validation completed successfully. If there are no errors reported, you can proceed with confident to perform the actual conversion using the forward slash convert option. After validating the disk type, type the command 
mbit to gpt space forward slash convert and press enter this command will initiate the conversion process from mbit to gpt please keep patience until the conversion process is finishes Okay, as you can see the message, conversion completed successfully. Now, you can close the command prompt. Restart your computer and access the BIOS or UEFI settings. Once you are in the BIOS or UEFI settings, change the boot mode from legacy or CSM to UEFI mode. The exact steps to change these settings may vary depending on your computer's manufacturer and BIOS or UEFI version. Once done, save the BIOS or UEFI settings and exit. After restarting your computer, Windows should boot up in UEFI mode, utilizing the newly converted GPT disk. Well, as you can see, our Windows 11 is successfully booted in UEFI mode. Now, let me show you the BIOS mode of this Windows 11. As you can see, BIOS mode shows UEFI and Secure Boot status enabled. Now, let me show you the partition style status from Windows Disk Management. As you can see, the partition style shows GPT. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.